Hey, hey, happy people. So today we are going to be making a Mongolian beef. And of course we're going to make it vegan. And you know we got to make it alkaline today. So to get started here, I do have my wok here. It is on very low, but we're going to turn it up high here just so we can get our oil heated up. Today we are using grapeseed oil. I get a question sometimes people are like, why do you use so much grapeseed oil? Why you don't use avocado oil? Because where I am at, grapeseed oil is cheaper. So to fry things like that, saute, I do use grapeseed oil. I use avocado oil for other things. <laughs> All right. So now, while that's heating up there, we're going to go ahead and get our mushrooms ready here. I do have some portobello mushrooms. These are fresh portobello mushrooms. And in this bowl here, I have some boletti. I'll write that right there because I may not be saying that right. Bolet or boletti, however they say it. These were uh, dried mushrooms, so I rehydrated them. I The measurements that you will see on the screen later is of dried mushrooms, not after they have been rehydrated. I uh, hydrated them with some hot water and some nomu bouillon. So that way uh, it will soak up some of the flavor, give us more of a little beefy uh, flavor there. Alright, so now, in my Ziploc bag here, I have some spelt flour. This is just brown spelt flour. Use whatever flour you got and comfortable with. In this bowl, I got some uh, Nomu Bouillon or alkaline version there. And we're just going to put that in there and I'm just going to mix this up right quick. So now, we're just going to add our mushrooms into the bag here. Close it up and get them all mixed up here. Alright, so we've covered our mushrooms here. So we're going to go ahead because our wok is steaming here. Smoking. Alright, so we are down to the last of our portobello mushrooms here, so now I'm just going to pour the bolette and the flour mixture here. Get that all mixed up. Alright, and now we're just going to start putting our bolettes in there. Get these all fried up too. Turn the heat back up there a little bit. Alright, we have cooked all of our mushrooms here. You guys can see that. Alright, so now in the same pan, everything the same, leaving your oil, the little bits off in there, all that. We're going to start off now with some veggies here. I have some bell peppers here. You got some red, yellow, orange looking, and a couple of green because I had like a third of a green one in the refrigerator. Use whatever color you want to use. It doesn't matter. Got some onions here. Alright, and we are just going to saute these down here. You don't want your bell peppers to be too soft. You want them to have a little crunch to them. So saute them down just a little bit here. Got that thing. Oh, girl, man. Oh, my God. Look at what we got. Oh, sour sauce. Is it red? Is it red? Is it red? You want this one for fish? Yeah. I told you. All right, sour sauce, honey. Look at you. Ah, I'm going to get the right one. And we got some cookies. Right on. Oh, you don't know what everybody's got to eat. I don't know. We got the corners. They're ready, too. We got the corners. They're Alright, so our onions and bell pepper have been cooking here for a minute. So now we're going to go ahead and add some other ingredients here. We do have some 
minced ginger here. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And we got some not so garlic uh, paste this time. Not the uh, mince, just because I'm out of mince right now. I can't seem to keep it on the shelf. But I do have some uh, paste ones, so we're going to go with the paste. That all mixed up there together. Ah, oh, the ginger is so fragrant. Like you can just smell it. It smells so good. some liquids here. We got our no soy sauce here. This is our alkaline no soy sauce so we're going to add that. Alright now we're going to add a little water here. We have our alkaline habanero hot sauce here. I don't know if I want to put all of it. Y'all know how I am with the hot stuff, but we gonna go with it. That's gonna give us just a little heat there, a little extra flavor. I do have some green onions here. We're gonna use the tops for our garnish, but. The bottoms here I'm going to go ahead and add in, but I didn't add in with the other onion because I want them to have a little uh, crunch to them, not be so uh, soft. Alright, at this point let me just taste my sauce. Okay. Alright, now I got some uh, date sugar here and I'm going to turn my fire down here. I think what I'm going to do is make this into a little slurry so my date sugar doesn't just seize up. So give me just a second. Alright, so I got some spring water here. This is about a half cup. And we're going to add our date sugar to it. Get it all mixed up here. Just because I don't want this to turn into like a big clump in there. So, and make sure I can mash out the clumps here. that mixed in. That's going to mellow out our habanero hot sauce there. Give us that kind of sweetness that Mongolian beef has. Now I can turn my heat back up a little bit. And now we can just add our mushrooms back to the pot here. Just gonna toss these in the sauce here. Let everything get mixed up. Man, look at that. That looks so good. Look at that. Looks so good. That is awesome. Here. 
Oh yeah. Alright, so now I can turn off my heat here. And I just need a bowl. Um, be right back. Alright, so I got me a little salsa here. And just gonna get me a little bit here because I don't need a whole lot right now. This is for dinner, so I don't want to pick out and leave happy by itself. Give me some onions and bell peppers here. onions and let's see what we're working with here the sauce is good I can tell you that already it's actually pretty good it's just a good dish <laughs> onion, mushrooms some bell pepper here some green onion mm. Yeah, sweet when you first taste it, but you feel that little heat underlying. Bell peppers aren't uh, mushy, so they give you a little crunch, a little texture. Yeah, this is good. Make sure that's all the way off. Don't want to burn it up. <laughs> Alright, so people, try this recipe. I would say the key to this is the bolette, or again, I'll write it right here. Bolette or boletti mushrooms. The dried version, not the fresh version. You can get them from uh, so many places. Spice Company, the nuts.com when they have them in stock. Of course, Amazon, eBay. SE or whatever. All those, but there's so many places. There's uh, different mushroom farms you can buy them at. But you can buy them online. So basically, you know, it's not that hard to find. You just need to get the dried ones. That is so much better because they're not so soft. So then when you uh, rehydrate them, you're controlling how soft they're going to be. But they become more of a meaty texture because they've been dehydrated and the fibers have been uh, pressed down. So that would be your key to this. This would. Uh, for your beef that's what make uh, the beef so much better in the vegan world the alkaline world but then the uh, portobellas because <laughs> mushrooms dry mushrooms are kind of expensive it don't matter which one you buy uh, <laughs> the portobellas the fresh portobellas will give you a little softness a little tenderness extra tenderness but help with uh, cutting the cost of the more expensive items. If that makes any sense, leave me a comment. Tell me if I made any sense to y'all. That's good. And habanero hot sauce wasn't too hot because we added the day sugar. So like I said, I can feel the heat, the underlying heat, but it is not scorching my throat not burning all my uh, taste buds off and that's my problem with hot things I know people love hot spicy I am not one I like savory and sweet <laughs> so that is it people and until the next video oh as always I forget right hit the notification bell hit the uh, subscribe button right there that little play button that you see right there in the corner you don't even gotta get out of this video you can just hover right above it and it will let you subscribe Share these videos so people can see how to make alkaline meals and they can realize that it's not that hard. You just got to do a little work, just like in anything else in life. If it's worth it, you have to put in a little work. Alkaline and vegan is definitely worth it to me. Um, go to our website for all of the alkaline uh, ingredients we use. The soy sauce, the garlic. Yeah, the soy sauce and the garlic, the mince not so gar mince not so garlic is what you should be using but I use paste in the ingredients and I think I need to put it right here because I don't think I did during the uh, video so in the ingredients you're gonna see alkaline minced garlic but I use the paste but that's just because I didn't have any mince at the time 
Um, but the no soy sauce, that is also an Alpine product. You can find that at mrstayhappy.com right there. And of course, it'll be in the description link. Go check us out, people. We have so many seasonings. We got sauces. We got flowers. We got all kinds of stuff. Condiments. Just go check us out. And we're adding continuously, continuously, continuously. We are trying to be the Alkaline Pantry, so it'll make it easier for you to cook your ingredients. Like, you wouldn't have to start your soy sauce sauce off first. You don't need to make your minced garlic first because we already have it available for you so you can easily have it in your refrigerator already and then you just it'll be just as easy as it was for me right here instead of me starting off making my soy sauce first then gotta make my minced garlic just having all that already ready that's pretty much what life is about today how to get in fast how to get it easy and quick um so that is all now I do believe yes so until the next video Stay happy.